What's up everyone, TechCloud here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, jailbreak your iPhone 5S, iPhone 5 or any other iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch running uh, iOS 7 up to 7.0.5. So let's see how we can uh, do that. Actually I was uh, thinking about uh, whether I should uh, jailbreak my device or not. It's been more than a month since the jailbreak is available. At the beginning there was no 64-bit mobile substrate. So there was uh, no point uh, in jailbreaking the iPhone 5S. Whereas the older iPhone was working fine because they are not 64-bit. So now the mobile substrate is available. It is called Cydia or Cydia whatever you like to call substrate instead of mobile substrate so let's see how you can uh, jailbreak your uh, phone jailbreaking an ios device is pretty simple you need to go to the website the link should be right now on your uh, screen you need to go to this website and download the required file if you are using windows then uh, download the windows file and if you are using uh, Mac which is the case uh, with me download the Mac file and uh, once the file is downloaded you need to open that file and uh, if you are using uh, the Mac it might actually give you a error message as you can see right now on my screen don't worry go to the preferences and uh, then go to the security Once you are inside security, press the unlock button. It will ask you for your uh, password, enter the password and then allow anywhere just like uh, you are watching on your screen. Once it's done, go back to the downloaded file, double click this one. Now this time you should be able to open the file and then you can actually put the security tab back where it was before and close the preferences now press the jailbreak button and it will start the process of jailbreaking your device and uh, once uh, it uh, goes to a certain stage it will actually install an app on your iphone and later on you will need to tap this uh, app but not right now it will actually prompt you to do that So it will uh, restart your device and uh, wait for the phone to come back on. Once it is on, all you need to do is go back to your uh, home screen and uh, tap that app that the jailbreak uh, software has installed on your phone. Once you tap that app, the jailbreak, the jailbreak uh, process will continue. So the jailbreak software gonna restart your phone a couple of times more and uh, let it finish once it's done just press the exit or done button whatever you get and let your uh, phone to finish the process it's gonna take few minutes and once it's back uh, you will see the Cydia on uh, your uh, mobile device just uh, click on this one and let it do its thing. It's gonna restart your phone after doing a lot of processing. So after the restart, the phone will come back and now you are uh, jailbroken and the Cydia is or Cydia whatever you like to call is ready to work and uh, select any level you want. I usually use developer press done and you will get the Cydia all the menus and you can go to the 
different tabs uh, listed at the bottom you can add resources you can check packages and uh, you can actually restore all the purchases that you have done previously but first uh, update anything if uh, any update is available just uh, tap that update and install that update You can uh, tap sources to edit or add uh, any new source you want. In order to restore your purchases on Sardia, just uh, click manage my account and uh, now you need to log in if you are using uh, Google or uh, Facebook, it depends uh, whatever you have uh, used uh, previously. So once you are logged in, you will see all the list of the apps that you have purchased before you can uh, tap any app that you have uh, purchased before and is compatible with your device you can install any one of them so guys i hope uh, that you have liked the video thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more videos like that take care and i'll see you later bye